Norma and Tom Deneen from Borua Farm. You're very welcome. How are you? Thank you, Jonathan. It's great to be here this morning. It's, it's lovely, lovely to see you. you. Um, tell us a little bit about Borua. First, First of all, by the way, we should tell people, people that, that you are married, so therefore you're in a household, which means you don't have to stay two metres apart unless you really want to. <laughs> <Absolutely, laughs> yeah. you, you seem to be on speaking terms, which is good. <laughs> tell us about the farm and what you guys do. OK, so um, we're dairy farmers and uh, farmhouse cheese producers from Ballino in East Cork. The farm is called Borua Farm. Um, we have a herd of Montbellard and Frisian cows. And it was the Montbeller cows that inspired us to start making cheese on the farm. And they inspired the name of the farm. So they have this beautiful red rust coloured hide. So hence the name Borua, which is an approximate translation a of red, red cow. cow. Yeah, yeah, there we have it. OK, yeah. it's, it's a kind of a cork red cow. There's Absolutely. one in Dublin, but yours tastes better. Um, let's put it that way. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Tom. How did uh, uh, Farming is in your blood? Yeah, farming is something I've wanted to do since I was, you know, so high. Um, just always wanted to be a farmer. Um, took over the farm in 2009 and progressively grew down from there then. And what does it mean to be making a living from it now? Because the, the, farming is one thing, producing cheese, it's a messy long-term business, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's great pride and satisfaction in turning, you know, your raw product of milk into something the consumer can touch and feel and eat and taste and you can stand over it and, you know, it, it, the satisfaction in that is hard to describe. It's fantastic. So, um, it's been a rough year, lads, mm. uh, because I'd imagine that you guys would have been involved a lot in food service as well as you would have been producing for the consumer market. Yeah. And that food service, it just went pop, didn't it? it Absolutely, didn't, It just yeah. went so away overnight, Norma. Coming into um, March, we were, um, we were delighted with ourselves. We were only actually retailing with about six months at that stage. And... Um, we, we, yeah, as I said, we were dependent on food service. So once the lockdown came, like, um, I suppose the revenue, like where were, where were we going to generate it from was our big thing. So the first weekend of the lockdown, um, we set up a web, web shop online at boruafarm.ie and we came together with other uh, farmhouse cheese producers up and down the country and we had a very successful campaign to, to, to push um, buying Irish cheese online. And, and that's where we're at right now because we're coming up to Christmas. Everybody loves a good cheese board, let's face it. that That's the reason we all look forward to after the Christmas dinner if we have any space. What does it mean that you're able to sell online right now and you're able to reach the market? Well, it means for us that um, you, we're reaching consumers all over the country now. Um, you know, literally they can go online, place an order and it'll be out to them um, either the next day or the day after via courier. Um, and... What's fantastic is that we're seeing more and more repeat custom, which is a real endorsement for the product as well. And I suppose as well as um, starting to retail online, um, we're very fortunate that um, most graves have given us a listing for all their super values. So um, people will start to see our produce, our Borua farm cheddar on their shelves of their local supermarket now as well in the coming weeks. Uh, The thing about this particular Christmas is people here in Cork want to support Cork Mm. businesses. Um, Have you seen a lot of that coming through, guys? Absolutely, definitely. Um, we're seeing lots of support from um, local independent stores, um, people in our locality, you know, ins- instead of maybe uh, traditionally, I don't know, sending a gift, they're actually seeking out um, their local food producers and putting campers together to send to their loved ones that maybe they won't be able to s- spend as much time with this year. Um, so yeah, we're seeing brilliant support from people locally. Cork County Council are encouraging everyone to have a real Cork Christmas. For, so for you guys down in Ballynor, what does a real Cork Christmas mean? Yeah, I suppose Cock Christmas means spending time at home with the family, putting up the tree, you know, having that, you know, the Santa Claus coming and all the excitement that's involved in that. That's really... Yeah, so for our three kids, like, they're already up to high dough. <laughs> they can't wait. Um, so, yeah, that's, I think it's all about the kids, really, uh, Christmas for us. Well, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. I know it's a little early for that, but we're going to say it anyway. Um, and next year, look, it's, it's going, going to be great. great. You've, You've got, got probably food service coming back. And now you have your online sales as well and you've that loyal customer base built so up. So, so it's upwards of homage really, isn't it? What's the website if people want to have a look? So they'll find us at boruafarm.ie.